resonance delocalization is one of the five foundational stability factors of this course, so it shouldn't be a surprise that conjugated molecules, which are characterized by many alternative resonance forms, are more stable than non-conjugated isomers, or comparable molecules. To demonstrate this, in this video we're going to look again at heats of hydrogenation. Recall that we used heats of hydrogenation as evidenced in the stability trends of alkenes. And the idea there was that when an alkene is hydrogenated to form an alkane, the reaction is exothermic. And the delta H associated with this process is the heat or enthalpy of hydrogenation. The greater this is, the less stable is the starting alkene. As long as we set up a situation where the two alkenes are leading to the same product, the same final alkane product. For example, in this particular case, we would expect the delta H of hydrogenation for the cis isomer to be greater than the delta H of hydrogenation for the trans isomer, since the cis isomer is less stable and higher in energy itself. We refer to the energy difference between a conjugated system and a related non-conjugated molecule as its resonance stabilization energy. It's the energy lowering that occurs due to the presence of many resonance structures and electron delocalization within the conjugated molecule. One way to measure resonance stabilization energy is to compare the heat of hydrogenation of two isomers, one of which is conjugated and one of which is not. Let's look, for example, at isomeric pentadienes, which contain five carbons and two double bonds in an acyclic arrangement. The molecule on the left is 1,3-pentadiene, and this molecule contains the structural elements of a four-atom pi system, specifically two double bonds linked by a single bond. The molecule on the right is 14 pentadiene. And although this molecule does contain two double bonds, each of those double bonds is isolated since there's an sp3 hybridized carbon sitting between the double bonds. Hydrogenation of each of these pentadienes is going to lead to the same product. Two equivalents of H2 will be incorporated into them and will end up with pentane. Let's put pentane at the zero line on this energy diagram. If we measure the enthalpy change for this process for the 1,4 pentadiene molecule, we observe an exothermic reaction with an enthalpy change of about negative 60.7 kilocalories per mole. If we make the same measurement for the 1,3 pentadiene molecule, we again observe an exothermic reaction, but now the enthalpy change is only negative 57.1 kilocalories per mole. Since both hydrogenation reactions are leading to the same product, pentane, these results indicate that the 1,3 isomer is lower in enthalpy than the 1,4 isomer. And this energy difference is due to conjugation and resonance. What we can say is that the introduction of delocalization by linking the double bonds to one another causes a stabilization of the molecule by about 3.5 kilocalories per mole. That may not seem like much, but remember, these energy differences cause exponential changes in the values of equilibrium constants and potentially in rate constants. If, for example, we treated the 1,4 pentadiene with a strong, strong base that promoted isomerization, we would end up at equilibrium with a product mixture containing a vast majority of the 1,3 isomer rather than the 1,4 isomer. These observations are also consistent with an observation we've made before about elimination reactions. Consider this substrate, which could eliminate to give either the 1,3 or 1,4 pentadiene isomer. This elimination is essentially completely selective for the 1,3 isomer because this establishes a more stable conjugated system, as opposed to a less stable non-conjugated system. 